Hi, I want to bring you the financial impact of our lift push pull case study. Uh, this particular claim was a lower back injury. Uh, the employee injured their lower back uh, pushing a cart. Uh, a couple of things come into play here uh, with the, finan the financial part of this claim. Uh, there were $81,000 in reserves on the medical side of the claim. We had $25,000 set up in indemnity and then there were $28,000 listed in the other category. Reason being for the 28,000 in the other category is this, came, this claim did become litigated, so a little extra money had to be set aside to cover attorney fees. Uh, there were a couple of minor surgeries involved with this claim. Again, with surgery being involved in lower back, 81,000 is really not an unreasonable number. Uh, we're fortunate here because uh, a shoulder claim say a, uh, a, you know, a pretty severe rotator cuff tear, we're probably looking uh, somewhere in the ballpark of 130, 140,000 just in the uh, medical reserves for a shoulder claim. So we did come out a little cheaper uh, with this one being a lower back injury and the surgery not being anything that was uh, highly invasive that called for hardware or anything like that. So uh, the 81,000 that we had listed in medical reserves, uh, there's still about 1,300 left. So most of the uh, medical portions of this claim have probably been paid out with only 1,300 still sitting there in reserves. Uh, there's 15,000 still remaining in indemnity. Uh, the uh, employee was able to return to work. Um, but that 15,000 is still sitting there. So at some point as this claim starts to begin the, the, the process of closing, uh, we could see some of those indemnity reserves come down. Uh, and then we've still got about 7,600 left in other, um, again, so most of the attorney's fees and, and some of the other items like probably nurse case management, uh, which there was a nurse case manager on this claim. So a lot of that's been paid. So there's still 7,600 in the other category. So we could see some reductions in this claim. Uh, total incurred for this claim was about $135,000. Uh, so with some of the reserves that are still sitting out there, this claim is several years old now, there could be some reductions uh, as we get down toward the end. Uh, but again, this is just, uh, just a small portion of the financial impact of this claim. Again, uh, as we've talked about in some of the other case studies, there are a lot of hidden costs that you don't see uh, covered in the costs that we've uh, covered here today, such as uh, this person obviously missed work, so you had to put another person in this position. There was the cost of finding another person, retraining them, moving people around, uh, and just a number of other things. So the 135000 that we see is basically just for the work comp purposes of the claim and it's not the total cost that the company probably incurred when you look at all of the other things that they have to do. So again, just something to keep in mind when we talk about the financial impact of these claims is there's a lot more to it than just the cost of the claim. We appreciate you tuning in to this claims case study series on lift, push, pull. Um, we hope that you'll like our YouTube channel, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you'll be uh, up to date on any new videos that come out. Thank you.